Right, we are going to move on to our last presenter, uh, Patrick. Take Hi, it how's away. it going? Uh, thank you. I was really excited to hear about uh, what Greg Wilson is up to, too. Thanks, May. Um, he actually trained me uh, when I was trained in software carpentry, so and that was a great training. So I know he's a he's a great instructor trainer. <laughs> But um, yeah, so I want to talk a little bit about our program at Columbia um, Foundations for Research Computing. Um, so it's a it's it's a three year plan as a three year pilot. Hopefully, it will continue on after that. Um, and last year was very much a getting things started year. Uh, this year, it's more of a um, scaling up. Uh, and we kind of do already tend to um, train a lot of students. So the first year, we ran two software carpentry events they're sort of like almost like multi boot camps where we run uh sessions within the same building uh we run either three or four simultaneous sessions so we did um uh i think about around 100 per uh uh training last year uh and we're just continuing to do that and we've made a few changes to you know ho hopefully sort of making run a little more smoothly this year in that area which hopefully i'll talk about and then also we've uh, kind of trying to like sort of almost double the program and do more things targeting an intermediate level. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to talk about that. But um, but one thing I'm really excited about is that we're moving on. We moved on to the gold membership. So we were sort of a a, um, a faux gold membership before, where we were on the silver membership, but we sort of paid in an ad hoc basis for a lot of extra instructors because we really found we got a lot out of the instructor trainings. So it was a great way to bring people into the community. So now we're officially <laughs> gold membership. Um, and we don't we don't have to buy them uh, get the trainings two at a time or whatever. So really excited about that. Um, and we're also we're excited to have uh, trainers come to campus and train everyone in January. So we already have that all, all signed up. We have um, Neil Davis and Chris Ham coming, and, and we're really looking forward to that. Um, but just to talk briefly about the intermediate trainings that we're starting up, or that we've already sort of piloted in August, but we're going to do a few more of them. Uh, we did uh, uh, one on TensorFlow. Uh, which we actually had someone from Google come in and, and speak, which was really exciting. They're not really that much connected to software carpentry, but the other one that was a little more software carpentry, we used software carpentry materials in a more in a much more serious way and tried to enter into this intermediate space. My notes are falling asleep here, apparently. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I have to touch this every now and then, I guess. <laughs> but. Um, the uh, is that uh, we had someone from Google Research come out, Sam Ansari, um, and he actually used uh, he he sort of took the um, the Python plotting with Python tutorial and sort of put it like a Google Research bent on it. Um, and students were really excited to both have the fundamental training and also sort of have these the sort of like like research applications added onto it. So people were kind of excited about that. And we were the point the purpose of that was to have sort of an accelerated Python for people who are new to Python. Um, but who had been trained in another programming language. So people who were already technical and could move pretty fast and kind of knew what a for loop was and all this kind of stuff. But um, which is really is already what plotting with uh, and programming with Python uh, does, but we sort of wanted to soup it up a little bit. So, so um, and I might, we might look into maybe trying to contribute some of that back to the new labs program. We're all excited. Um, so, uh, Oh yeah, and one other thing that we did for our um, our software carpentry, uh, our boot camps, the uh, the sort of R and Python ones that we did last year was that we because we had some intermediate trainings, we were sort of got to run something new, which is to do a sort of run a little like very simple sorting algorithm on all the students and sort of choose whether the students would go into a uh, sort of more in, uh, fundamental level or beginner level or more of an intermediate level. And we found that that actually made things run a little bit more smoothly in both the intermediate and the um, beginner levels. Because one thing, I mean, probably everyone has experienced this, is that it's really hard to get people of a very similar level in the room. So not to say that that solved that problem or anything like that, because that's always a tricky thing with technical trainings. But it did. we did notice that it made things go a little more smoothly. We had the, sort of the right people. There weren't people who were like, this is, I want something more advanced in the room. So that was kind of nice. Um, so uh, one thing uh, that we've sort of expanded, we've done a little bit of it last year, but we're expanding it, is we're doing all the uh, workshops, uh, some of which are based on a software carp carpentry curriculum, or uh, at least, you know, uh, and then maybe modified. Uh, so we did two workshop series and sort of an additional workshop. Uh, George Le and his team at uh, CUIT, the Columbia University IT group, 
ran a workshop on that they usually run every year, but we uh, sort of kind of combined forces a little bit uh, on uh, getting started with clusters on campus. And, you know, that's sort of very Unix-y, very software carpentry in some ways. And we also did a text analysis uh, series, which was very exciting as well. And also one, a one-off workshop on machine learning. We we're hoping to do a little bit more of that. And um, one thing that I think that's, that I'm really excited about and excited hopefully to work more with software carpentry on is that we have a new um, program, which is uh, like kind of curriculum innovation grants. So they're small grants to, that we're giving to graduate students and postdocs. And we basically want them to build some curriculum around, uh, you know, similar to what we do in software carpentry uh, at this more intermediate level. And uh, we're hoping that if it's of sufficient quality that we can, um, we can submit it back to software carpentry in some form. Uh, you know, I, I know that it requires a lot of, uh, that, that'll require a lot of work, but we're hoping to contribute some of that, what they create back to the uh, software carpentry if possible. So, um, I mean, that's, that's the gist of what's going on here this year. Um, thank you very much. Thank you so much, Patrick.